no one talks about segmentation when it comes to scaling and it's an important factor when it comes to really succeeding in Facebook ads. You need to know how to scale by segmentation and I'll be literally giving everything away in today's video. Before we get to today's video, let's start by announcing last video's winners for $1,000 worth of the courses or consulting courses with me. The winners here, if you guys want to apply for, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. All right, so Facebook ads, location, segmentation, scaling. So here's a quick example. Let's say you're targeting camping, you target United States, you're given a massive audience of 61 million people. That's just giant. And what this audience is, is filled with both high quality and low quality audiences. Facebook will be wasting your money on the low quality audience within that 61 million size audience that you selected. Hence, what you should do is you should manually break down the 61 million size audience yourself and do proper split tests. So before you'll be literally targeting the whole of America. After what I do is I'd split it up to the West Coast, Mid Coast, and east coast literally split into three sections and you basically split test these three groups to find what performs the best and then generally for ecom the east side and west side will perform the best and outperform the middle part of america this allows you to basically exclude all that chunk of audience that would go to people that would not purchase since we're talking about camping these results might be drastically different what we might find is that camping nation camping products might actually work best for people in mid america and it sucks when it comes to targeting the east and west coast that's why segmentation is so important because every single different product would perform differently because america is just so big and broad like literally america is like three different countries the east coast is completely different to people in the west coast completely different to the people in the mid america Everyone's different and you should treat it like three different countries and that's how you really double down and get much bigger results. As you can see, I split into three sections. What you should do is you should create saved countries list for each one of these segmentations. So this would save you so much time. So you pre-put in all the countries such as, you know, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, California, put them all into a section, save it and then name it West Coast countries. So every time that you want to test west coast countries it's going to be saved and you won't have to manually select all these different countries and this is an amazing way just to save time and you create tons and tons of custom country lists and name them to whatever you do and you can also repeat this process in what i'm going to show you guys next when i go ahead and show you guys all the different ways you could segment countries segment states you can repeat that process of creating saved country lists saved state lists to all these strategies that I'm gonna show you guys now. You can repeat this exact same strategy by segmentation by temperature. As you can see in this graph, you could collate all the states on the top of America, which are very cold, and collect all the states on the bottom of America, which are generally much warmer. This is a great way to optimize for summer or winter products. Like if you have a winter product, Probably if you segment it, you'll find that the top part of America, those group of states will perform much better than people in the bottom portion of America. Another option, you can do segmentation by income. As you can see in this graph, you can see all the highest income states and the lowest income states. And what you can do is you can sell fake AirPods to the lower income states because they're the type that would want to get AirPods at a cheaper price. So they'd be willing to buy $20, $30 fake AirPods. Whereas you could sell real AirPods, Apple Watch, iPhone accessories. So a lot of people have these sort of Apple Watch charging sort of accessories where you could just it's like a charging dock well a lot of people don't have apple watches but if you only target high income states those ads will perform very well and what you can do is you can repeat this whole process on a global scale segment countries by wealth have all the first world countries in one portion and you could sell them more expensive items segment countries by winter slash summer countries so have all the winter countries such as germany Canada, Alaska, Iceland, put them in one section and sell them winter products. Whereas you could have all these summer products for these summer countries such as Australia, Dubai, America, and put all these summer countries together 
and then sell a bunch of summer products. And that's how you really split test. And what you wanna do is you wanna split test both. You wanna create all these segmentations. And when you test a product, even though if it's a summer product, you wanna test it both in the winter list of countries and the summer list of countries. And you can do the exact same thing for sports. You wanna combine all countries that love soccer, like the UK, Australia, and sell them soccer related products. That would kill it. And that's why segmentation is so important and not many people are utilizing it at all. And eventually that's how you scale. One interest now can be multiplied many, many times. So for example, if you had a winning pet product with the one pet audience, that one audience and one interest can be used like 10 times. With the dog interest, you could target one ad set for high income countries one ad set for low income countries, one ad set for summer countries, one ad set for winter countries, one ad set for countries that love sports, one ad set for countries that like soccer, basketball. And surprisingly, you would see crazy different results. One, the interest dog is now split 10 times. Obviously, there's gonna be a bunch of overlapping because say, United States will be in most of these countries, but you're gonna get much more different variations and much different results. Like surprisingly, you might find that dog interest for your particular product might work very well with NBA basketball loving countries. Like crazy stuff like that happens and you just need a test. And then now this is how you literally 10X the amount of variations and the amount of ads you have. As I said before, the more ad sets you have running, the more money and revenue you're gonna make. It's all about the number of ad sets that you have active. That's how you go ahead and hit those five, six figure days. That's today's video. Hope you guys found value from it. Hopefully you're able to learn a few new things. This is something that literally no one talks about. Like the content on my channel is just getting more and more high quality. Hopefully everyone's able to, you know, keep up with this sort of high level content. Those who are still beginning, just continue watching my previous content because all that still applies as well as keep all these newer videos on deck for when you actually get to this level. On top of that, don't worry, I'm gonna be releasing much more beginner-friendly content soon. I have a few series that I wanna release that are just revolutionary. Like I'm giving away course-worthy courses. Like if you thought my 30K in 30-day series linked above here was like revolutionary because I just gave a whole course away, you're gonna be crazy shocked about the next few series I have for you guys. So if you're just starting out, don't worry, I have content for you. And if you're very experienced in e-commerce marketing, you're gonna be very, very excited with the content I have up and coming. But yeah, question of the day. Do you segment when you scale? Drop it in the comments below. Let me know how you segment. Do you segment by age? Do you segment by gender? There's so many ways you could segment different things. And what I talked about is just the tip of the iceberg. You're gonna see much, much more valuable content when it comes to segmentation. Because if you thought this was a game changer, you're gonna be excited with the future upcoming Facebook ads knowledge that I'm just gonna drop on this channel. Like everything completely for free. I wanna provide you guys as much value as possible. That's my goal. For 2020, I wanna try to hit 100K, guys. Like, I need your support. I need to really just do this by just giving so much value away. And that's my plan to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2020. But yeah, please drop all your questions in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I've been literally answering every single comment. If you guys have any personal questions, please DM me on my Instagram, Andy Kumai. I've been also answering all my DMs, so be sure to reach me out on that platform. If you guys wanna learn more about what I'm doing every single day, get the behind the scenes, get more information on mindset, content, be sure to check out my podcast. That's linked in the description below. Highly underrated, a lot of golden nuggets revealed on my podcast where you really get a taste of what it is like to be a multi six-figure entrepreneur. And I just reveal all the important things I learn every single day and I drop weekly podcasts. So be sure to check my podcast. I don't usually put any upsells on any of my videos. All I ask is for you to simply hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That's all I ask for, so please do that. That would greatly support the channel. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow as always with much, much more value. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow at the exact same time. Peace.